do deserve. have, of course, ABC Chief Medical Correspondent Dr. Jen here with us, as always, as we take a look at the latest coronavirus case numbers from Johns Hopkins University, the new milestone over the weekend. Now more than 3 million people have died of coronavirus worldwide. Well, here at home, more than 567,000 American lives lost. The CDC now reporting more than half of Americans over the age of 18 have now received at least one dose of vaccine. That is some encouraging news on the vaccine front. However, we are seeing some concerning yep. signs about an increase in cases because we are seeing it happening in younger people yep. due to these variants we've been talking about. But there's some interesting news about a possible treatment. Exactly. And listen, as we watch the goings on of this pandemic, remember, we're focused on prevention, immunization, we're focused on testing, and we're focused on treatment. You have to do all of those things at the same time. So some interesting news about treatments, in particular using a very commonly used antidepressant. It's called fluvoxamine. It's an SSRI um, used to treat OCD and depression. Uh, in two very small studies that have been published, they showed some promising results in patients with COVID treated with this drug. In particular, a recent study published in the Journal of the American Medical Association compared head-to-head -head placebo versus this commonly used antidepressant in patients with COVID-19. The number of patients who got this drug had no hospitalization, so some interesting and encouraging data there. Possible mechanisms at play, Amy, it may prevent a cytokine storm, that so-called inflammatory response, which we know can be so dangerous in patients with COVID, but it is still under research, not ready for prime time yet. Okay, and for people who are suffering, not hospitalized, but yeah. looking for some treatment, some way to alleviate, uh, or alleviate the symptoms, what do you suggest? Well, I'm getting this question from patients on an ongoing basis. They have COVID, and remember, just because they don't require hospitalization, and we call it mild disease, does not mean it's easy. It can last a long time, so the recommendations now for patients at home Give it time, rest, symptomatic relief with things like acetaminophen or ibuprofen. And then for hospitalized patients, again, we're seeing steroids, remdesivir, monoclonal antibodies, anti-inflammatories, all of that used. But clinicians so much better now at treating those critically ill cases. So there is some encouraging news. Yeah, that is some good news. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.